Okay guys, we are here at the Lake Waco Redlands on... diagram of like the different bits of the reservoir and stuff. The Retlands was actually made as an addition for the lake back about 10 years ago so that there would be extra reserves but also to make a natural habitat for insects and birds and repti reptiles.
Okay, so like I was told that this here is um, a picture of the drainage, like um, the area, riches, and basically in central Texas, where the, all the, the rains and waters basically drain. And that's just the overall Texas state. This here is in the drainage area itself and the elevations. the legend that's got the different elevation on it, the colors. And then over here is a Google image map of the entire drain area that's in Texas. So basically it runs like north rest toward southeast all in central of Texas. It's a pretty big drainage area. Goes quite a way. Now currently the lady was telling us that right now because of all the flooding that we have had um the wetlands is actually down because the way that they have got it made they have to pump from the main river and it's kind of up so the wetlands isn't elevated so currently right now the floor of the wetlands is mud but as that starts to dry up, they'll be able to start pumping again. So it's not exactly going to look the way it could, but we're going to get the best that we can here.
Now, I have no clue how long this walk is, but I'm going to enjoy it. And I will get you what I can as we go. Now, this right here is the learning center that we was just in. And they're doing all kinds of experiments here for uh, insect breeds and stuff like that and natural breeding and everything whatever is done for habitat it looks like they keep you somewhat informed tons of pictures to look at Got lilies there and cattails. We've got an overlook over here. Let's kind of take an overlook here and then we'll go down onto the bottom and, and walk it. Now this observation deck was made by the Boy Scouts. Now we're going to be walking out onto that boardwalk. So I'll show you more of the area as we walk out there. And they've got all kinds of um, picnic tables here. And you can see the waters is down. You would think that it would be flooded from all the floods, but like she said, they have to pump the water up from the river. But right now with all the mud and stuff, it, they can't get to the pumps. You can definitely tell that this is nature because there are tons of gnats and they are getting buggy <laughs> as gnats do. Yeah, we have had a little bit of an overflow down here, but ain't nothing. Just from all the storms that we've had. Yep. Yeah. That would be a great hike I'm sure I tried to look up to see like how long of a hike this is including the board rock or whatever and I really couldn't get no information about that Look here, we've got some, I don't know. It looks like cranes or something. Cranes or egrets. Oh. I was not able to capture them 
on the video, but take my word, guys, there was two of them. <laughs> I tried, sorry. They were black, not white. It's always a little hard to tell from the underbelly with the sun shining on top of them. So, I, I saw some pictures before on social media. This would be filled with water right here. Yeah. And, and that's what she probably was talking about. Yeah, you can see it. It's cracked up here. I guess what it is, though, um, because this has, an, has a higher elevation than the river itself, naturally it's going to drain off but they'll get it filled back up as soon as they can get to the pumps and get it pumped back in you can tell this is like all you know this is marsh yeah there'd be more wildlife out here yeah. looks like there's another platform out there where you have a place to sit in like we yeah like did a bird like a bird watch over like, there kind of like we did at that bear park yeah We'll see as we get over there. It's probably down on that road. Possibly, yeah. It's probably what you have to do. You just go down the road and go over. You see all these reeds or whatever. That's indicative of like a marsh. Huh? Yep. Yeah. I think they said they're going to be fixing all that. Yeah, their floater got out from underneath it. It looks like. Well, we did have some severe storms the last few weeks. Yep, we did. Lightning and wind and everything. Very severe. Yeah, you tell us. See, that's, that's what they're supposed to look like right there. Yep. Floaters. You know? And so one of them came out. We'll walk over here to the end of this and see what we don't see. I don't think you ought to make a sequel video when they have this up and going again. Yeah, we may just do that when the red lands are really, what you would say, flowing. I can really come wet. back and, and show just what they look like with the water up. You can call them, I, I'm sure they have a phone number, you can call them. See when it's, when it's back out here for a second take. And what's really crazy, looking at all this, you would think that this was just an area that got rained on real hard, but it's still dry. But yeah, this is marshland and everything like if you would go out to that right there i'd say you'd actually sink up could be like a quicksand type yeah it reminds me kind of like if the tide went out on the ocean right yeah you know, some of the places have like severe tides you know yep 10 15 20 feet or whatever it's so dry it's cracked yeah. but yeah I'll definitely have to get this for you and when it's wetter, when we've actually got water going on. I'd say the mosquitoes are really bad then. Right now I'm just being aggravated by gnats. I could only imagine <laughs> giving the mosquitoes place to swarm again. <laughs> well, it depends on how spilled the water is. Mosquitoes have to have spilled water. Huh? Yeah. I'd say. No, it isn't. Uh, we've got claw tracks here. There'd been a critter that walked through the mud. I know nature of person, but is that like a, maybe it's like a, a raccoon or something? It could be rat. There's a good print right there. Yeah, it could be. Could be raccoon. 
if it would have felt like any dead fish or something it would go through here ravaging over some might, morsels might be going after like a frog who knows yeah They got like a little road out here, man. Yeah, that goes all the way to that place. See? You know, like a little high road thing here. Yeah. That'd be easier. It would. Be I think it. it does. I believe it does. Saying, if you had, you know, like me before, I had some disability walking, this would be an easier way to go. It would. Maybe, you know, because this would be stroller friendly or something, too, you know? Yep. Here we see a little bit more of the marsh where it's not dried up. Don't bother with out there. We'll walk around this way. There's where that lookout was. Yeah. Birds, bugs, reptiles, a great breeding ground, wonderful habitat. Looks like you could just go off the road if you needed to have wheels or something. Like a stroller or whatever. Yeah. Off the road. It's really there going on the walk I mean that little board one I think board one. I think it's a little bit wet here. Mm-hmm. Not small rain.
froze on his back. Yeah. I'd say. They probably oh hey there's some white eaters. Oh yep. Probably like no water over there. We've got a place where we're not seen. We're in a blind. We can see plenty, but they can't see us. As you can see, there's all kinds of observation holes in this blind. And they warn you about the snakes. Yep. I always gotta watch for the creatures that hates us the most. God said we can tread on serpents, but he didn't tell us to do it on purpose. This is a pumping station. Mm-hmm. That would be the pump. So here we have got the pumps and like she said right now it's not possible for them to get them all working not until the waters go down in the river. Got a little bit more of a walk over there, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we're getting close to that bird watch shelter. Here you can see it, it kind of runs a little bit like a creek here. This is where they flow. So you can tell it's a trench. They've got to fill that up. And then of course it overflows and it fills these wetlands in. I'm going to do everything I can to try to come back here at a time when these wetlands will really look better. According to the woman, right now this place really doesn't look all that good. So I can only imagine its natural beauty when it is underwater. Let's see if you can tell this. Uh, the poles, that's right there in the center. You can tell the uh, water line up there. So that's uh, generally how deep these get. Well, we do have some cranes regrets flying around here. And on the whole part, there really isn't anything going on. That would be an eerie tree for a haunted house.
Okay, we're here on this, I'm assuming it is a bird watch shed. I'm just going to kind of walk around it. I'm not going to go in it. Of course, I'm going to watch for the critters. So let's kind of get you an inside look here. to like bring yourself a pack cooler or something and then you just go in there and enjoy some good bird watching. So pretty well this is all that we've got here today folks. In the near future, I'll try to get information to see how the wetlands are doing and hopefully get back here to give you a better scenario. But in the meantime, I mean, despite of everything being dry, being dry and half dead, it still is a beautiful place. So, yep. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this dry tour and I will see you later.